Now at 9, we begin with the threat of teacher strikes in western Washington. Tonight, we've learned that teachers in the Tukwila School District will strike Wednesday. That's supposed to be the first day of school. It's also the next time the teachers union says it will be bargaining at the table. We reached out to the district for comment but have not yet heard back. In Seattle, the teachers union and the district continued negotiations today without a deal. Seattle teachers voted to authorize a strike if they don't have a tentative deal by Wednesday, also their first day of school. The union president believes the talks are heading in the right direction. The Tacoma Education Association also resumed negotiations. The union met yesterday evening to discuss a possible strike, but there weren't enough members to hold a vote. They plan to meet again next Tuesday. Tacoma schools slated to start Thursday. Now, with all the pressure on the districts and teachers to agree on fair salaries, some of the focus has shifted to administrators. Teachers in one district looked up the salaries of those officials and shared them on social media, starting a heated conversation. So we decided to compare five of the biggest districts in our region to see who was making the most and whether there were any discrepancies. These salaries are straight from the state superintendent of public instruction. They're from the 2017 to 2018 school year, and they are what's considered to be the total salary. The five districts we looked at were Seattle, which is by far the biggest in the state with 54,000 students. Then you have Tacoma, Kent, both with about 29,000, and then Federal Way and Puyallup, both with about 22 to 23. The top salary across the board was no surprise, really. That was the superintendent. Uh, Seattle superintendent banked 310,000. You see Tacoma's there, 291. Kent, 265. Federal Way, 283. And Puyallup, also at 283. The difference of about 45,000 separating those salaries all across the board. Now the second biggest salary for each district we saw was the deputy superintendent. That also not a surprise. Uh, the numbers here you'll see. You'll notice Tacoma's deputy uh, also at 250,000 actually makes 10,000 more than Seattle's deputy superintendent. Now rounding out the top five are a variety of positions and we couldn't include all of them, but they included assistant superintendent, chief information officer, also communications manager. Interesting to note, that 14 people made more than $200,000 in Seattle, just two in Tacoma, and then one in Kent, Federal Way, in Puyallup. Also worth noting, principals in Tacoma, on average, appeared to make more than principals in Seattle. For the most part, what we found, top salaries in similar sized districts were fairly close based on their positions. Now we have compiled a list of school districts and the current status on their negotiations on king5.com. Just look for the school tracker right there on the homepage.